Starting it off in the number five spot for the must-have accessories for your Xbox Series X is the TrueNab Carrying Case, coming in at a price tag of $39.99. If you wanna check it out or any of the five accessories in this video, there's Amazon links below in the description, but let's talk about this carrying case. Firstly, it's kind of a case, it's kind of a bag. It's essentially a very padded case bag for your Series X and well, more than just the Series X, but all of your controllers, games, cables, and just accessories. So firstly, there is a lone middle pocket for the Series X with padding on top, bottom, and all four sides. This is there to, well, obviously keep it safe. And it's very padded. When you have it in there, it feels incredibly secure, which is a very good thing. We all wanna protect our console. Now in the section for the Series X, on top of the like lid section, there is a zipper pocket where you can put cables in there, maybe some SSDs or anything else that you wanna store in there. Then on the left, the right, and then the front side, there are zipper pockets where you can put controllers in there, other cables, SSDs, uh, games, like anything you want, they'll fit in there, which is super nice. But they are designed so that you can fit a full controller in there. So the overall ergonomics plus the way it looks it's just really nice. As well on the back of the case, so opposite those three sections where you can put controllers, there's just a pocket. So you could probably fit two more games in there or you know some paperwork, I don't know, whatever you wanna fit in there, you could definitely fit it. So for the size of the bag, there is a lot of storage and I really do appreciate that. Now at the end of the day, this is a carrying case. So how is it with carrying? Well, firstly, there's a very nice top handle. It's quite nice. Uh, and then you have a shoulder strap. This has metal ends, nice, thick, high quality metal ends, uh, which again, feel much more like beefy and high quality than I was expecting when I bought this. Uh, but yeah, thick metal ends, nice strap with a padded like shoulder strap. So that's pretty sweet. You could sling it around yourself or you could just hold it um, with the handle. Now, as far as colors, this either comes in black or black with green accents, which is how I got it, because it's an Xbox, come on. All right, but let's talk about the build quality. You're thinking, well, you have your prized console in there. This is water resistant, which is pretty sweet. So if it is raining a little bit, you don't have to be too worried. Uh, not only is there a massive amount of uh, padding that's going to stop the water, even if it does get through, well, the exterior is water resistant, which is really, really nice to have. The overall durability of the quality feels very, very nice. It doesn't feel like some cheap, a uh, China bag, it actually feels really, really good. The zippers are nice. Like I said, the clips are made of metal and they're very nice. And there's also this honeycomb design weaved into the front pocket and the top of the bag. The pockets with the honeycomb design are more rigid and they maintain more of a shape, uh, which is nice. It's a little bit more uh, secure, a little bit more durable. Now this is great overall if you're going between you and your friend's house, you're going from college back to your parents' house, or if you're flying with your Series X, these are all great instances where this would come in handy and just give you that peace of mind to know that your console is gonna be okay because it's nicely packaged or padded or secured, okay? But moving on to the number four spot, this is the E-Extreme Rate Case, coming in at a price tag of $14.99 at the time of filming. Again, check the link below for current pricing. This is a silicone cover case or skin or whatever you wanna call it, not really a skin, for your Xbox Series X and S controllers. The case has a nice smooth yet grippy rubbery texture that's very comfortable to game with for long periods of time. There's some extra silicone bolstering on the side of the case or skin, uh, which I find makes the controller sit in at least my hands a little bit more comfortably. Also one of the benefits here, and you know, I have OCD, so it might be a, a little bit of a weird tick or a weird thing, um, but when I'm grabbing the controller, I don't like feeling the seams. Uh, and this removes that, so I really, I, I kind of appreciate that. Now the thumb grips are also made of silicone, which you can pop on them, and they do enlarge the size of those you know, thumb sticks because obviously the sleeve well covers them so it has to add some size. But I personally leave these off as I prefer the way they feel without them on. I love the case itself, the skin itself, but I don't like the thumb grips. Now you might feel differently, but you have the option to either leave them on or off. Now the back panel of the case is completely open, which is great if you have a charging dock for your controllers or just want more accessibility for charging batteries. Really do like that. But obviously one of the biggest things with this is that it protects your controller. You're not gonna get it nicked up or banged up. You drop it, your friends use it. You know, if you, if you really love your console and your controllers and you don't want them to get messed up, but you have friends over all the time, I mean, let's be honest, 
a lot of our friends are not gonna take as good of care of our things as they are maybe of their own things. So a sleeve is like the perfect way to do that. It adds enough cushioning where if you drop it, it's probably gonna be okay and you're not gonna get it scratched up. But the other big thing with this is you get to customize the look of your controller and make it look a little bit more you. So here are the different colors that they have, which is a lot. Aqua green, black, blue, blue and black, hot pink, light pink, clear black, clear white, glow in the dark white-ish. It's like glow in the dark white because glow in the dark has to be kind of that white color. Is white a color or is it every color? Green and black, gray, mauve purple, or is it mauve purple? That sounds weird. Midnight blue, passion red, pink and purple and blue, all in one, purple, racing green, red and black, white, and wine red. The wine red does look very, very nice. Do like that color. Overall, this is a great way to protect your controllers, add a little bit of comfort, and add your own style, and customize your controller. Let's move on to the number three spot, which is actually two in one. This is either the Western Digital Black D30 Gaming Drive or the Seagate Expansion Card, which is just an SSD. It's a fancy name for an SSD. All right, now first, the Western Digital D30. This comes in at $74.44 for the 500 gigabyte variant, $149.99 for the one terabyte variant, and then $198.99 for the two terabyte variant. Now, this is a portable SSD drive for your Xbox Series X or S, and well, it's a drive, it increases storage. Now, the one thing with this is you can store your games on this drive, but you cannot play them from the drive. If you do want to play them from the drive, you will have to get the Seagate expansion card. That one was like kind of co-developed with Microsoft, I believe. It was launched with the Series X and that's the best implementation of that. So if you just want to essentially increase the amount of storage on your console, so you can download as many games as you want, then get the Seagate. That one comes in at a price tag of $219.99 for the one terabyte, and then $399.99 for the two terabyte. Get the one terabyte. $40 is too much to spend on just an SSD. You don't play games that much. Okay, delete your stuff, get the one terabyte. Now the Seagate essentially just increases the space on your Xbox, and it keeps all of the stock functions. You still get quick resume, which is so nice. I love quick resume. When you plug this into the rear of your console, it also takes up very, very little space. In fact, you could probably put it in any of the carrying cases and literally just leave the drive in there. So nice. So now that you understand the expansion card, the Seagate one, let's talk about the Western Digital. Firstly, it's got a nice design, actually a really nice design. It's very protected. It sits on your desk well, it has a little stand on it. But what I said about the Western Digital isn't quite the full story. You can actually play games off of the Western Digital drive, but they have to be not the Xbox Series X or S games. So if they came out before the Xbox Series X and S, so let's say GTA 5 or Battlefield 1, anything like that, you can play them directly off of the Western Digital Drive. So you still do have quite a bit of functionality there, but things like Forza Horizon 5, well, you're going to have to have the expansion pack to play them off of there. But let's talk about how long it took for you to copy it over so that you can decide whether it's worth it to, I'm just gonna re-download the game, delete another game, re-download it rather than install it on this other drive and then install it back. Okay, so when I transferred Forza Horizon 5, which is about 120 gigabytes, which is a very big game, it took about seven to eight minutes, which is, which is very good. Now download times absolutely are gonna vary like infinitely wildly, so that depends on your internet connection. But if you're getting a typical internet connection, let's say 200 megabytes, this is going to be significantly faster than that, like way faster than that. Battlefield 5, which is about 83 gigabytes, that took about five minutes. So you can see it's definitely faster, and then you get to play all of the previous games before the Xbox Series X and S optimized games directly off the drive. So you'll have to decide whether the $70 more for the one terabyte versus one terabyte for the Seagate expansion pack uh, whether that difference is worth it or not. But both are fantastic luxuries to have for your Series X. But with that, let's move on to the number two spot, which is a little bit more budget friendly if you don't have crazy cash. And this is the Power A Dual Charging Station, coming in at $24.99, anyone's budget. Now essentially what this is, is rechargeable battery packs that then have a charging dock that charges them without having to take the cover plate off and put new AA batteries in there. So it saves you a little bit of money and it saves you time because you don't have to replace and buy new batteries. If you plan to keep your console for more than two years, uh, I mean, you can do the math, but it's literally going to save you money because you don't have to buy batteries. 
I hate buying batteries. You have to buy them, you have to put them in and take them out, and then you have to throw them in the landfill. It's bad for the planet, it's annoying to do, and you have to spend money constantly. It's just stupid. So this solves that. So it comes with a new battery pack and a new cover plate. So literally the installation is, Take the batteries out, put the new battery pack in, put the cover plate on and you're done. Now as for compatibility, this has uh, I think two different cover plates. So whether you have the new Xbox Series X and Series S controllers or you have the Xbox One, uh, it works in both, so that's awesome. Now you can either get this in the white colorway or the black colorway. I personally love the white colorway. I think it looks awesome. But now let's get into the dock itself. So there's two controllers that go together, kind of making a pyramid, which looks really cool. But there's some more functionality to it. Once you take your controller, you're gonna place it on there and then press down. Now what will happen is a spring will allow the contact points on the new battery to then hit the contact points for charging and it starts the charging process. At which point there will be an orange light that will come around the base that looks great uh, that will signify that it's not charged yet. When it is fully charged, it'll turn white. Now let's say you're going to sleep and you have this in your room or you just wanna stop the charge on your controllers, but you don't really wanna take them off of the nice charging dock. Well, press that down and it will slightly rise up the controller so that those contact points for charging are no longer touching so you don't have to overcharge your controllers. How cool is that? It's so simple to use. It looks really good. It's got a little bit of that ambient lighting that's also functional. I mean, it's just great. I've actually had this for like two years, basically since the Series X came out and it looks great. It still works perfectly. The battery packs are great. No problems at all. All right, but with that guys, let's talk about the number one spot, which is the Xbox wireless headset coming at a price tag of $99.99. Now, obviously this is the dedicated Xbox headset. So, well, part of the benefit is that it works perfectly and seamlessly. Now let's start off with the build quality. Made of mainly plastic, but it's high quality plastic, and the overall fit and finish is very, very nice. There's no creaks, there's no rattles, there's no weird stuff going on. For the earmuffs, they are pleather with foam padding. You have the Xbox logo on the right side, and then green accents throughout the rest of the headset. Build quality here is very top notch, on par with the nicest PC headsets. I mean, it's really quite impressive. Now the comfort, is another section that I really, really like. The earmuffs are very, very plush. Beyond just being very soft and enjoyable to cup around your ears, it's got a great seal. So it blocks out most of the noise around you, even if there's no sound playing through the headphones. This is really great if you wanna be isolated in your environment, but you can also hear the noise around you if you want to through that mic. It'll pump the mic's noise into the headset. Overall, it's very comfortable to wear for long gaming sessions, ones that are three hours, maybe a little bit more. Very, very comfortable the whole time. Now, like I said, one of the biggest pros is the functionality is just seamless. So as far as pairing these things, it works exactly like your Xbox controller in the exact same fashion and pretty much in the same time. It's that quick. You hold the power button on the headset and then on your Xbox and they pair. Now, the other benefit is that you can actually use these outside of just the Xbox. You can use them on your Windows computer, iOS, Android, and Mac. I'm not even sure if it says that you can use it on like Mac on the description, but we tried it and it worked with Mac. So there you go. Now this can also be paired to the Xbox and another device simultaneously, which is a pretty cool feature to have. As for the controls, there are two dials on the right side. They're not even dials. They just look like the headset, but they move. It's very cool. It's actually a really, really cool design element. So on the right ear is the volume control and it is like the best volume control you could ever have because you're never gonna lose it. Literally just put your hand up there and turn it. It's, it's so stupid simple, but really good. And then the left dial is the control and balance between the game volume and the chat volume. That is like so nice to have. It also clicks in the middle to show you where the perfect balance is that Microsoft says, right? Or Xbox says is the perfect balance. Then there is the green power slash pairing button on the back left side, and then a mute button on the base of the mic. Now, the other settings, which you do wanna take big note of here, in the Xbox Accessories app, there's mic monitoring, auto mic mute, bass boost, and then changing the EQ settings and bass boost settings. This is really important because out of the box, the sound quality is really good, but 
Well, let's talk about the sound quality and we'll get into that. So the sound is set in the game EQ out of the box, but I would definitely recommend you to make your own EQ settings, whether you wanna customize that yourself or whatever you wanna do. But this has great low frequency response. The bass is really, really clean. Now you can turn the bass down, but it is very deep, boomy, like very, very good. So in games that they're happening, like explosions, like let's say Battlefield, especially, I mean, it sounds really, really good. Now the mids and the trebles are a little bit muddy in that game mode, which again, for games might be the better mode depending on what games you're playing. But if you do wanna listen to music or something like that, then you can just go in and change that EQ setting. I probably would turn up the treble uh, and decrease the mids a little bit. But again, you can do all that yourself. Now beyond this, this has spatial sounds such as Windows Sonic, DTS Headphone X, and Dolby Atmos, which means you can hear what directions the sounds are coming from, which is very important in many games and mainly FPS games. The overall sound quality after changing the EQ is absolutely fantastic, but I definitely would recommend changing the EQ immediately after getting this to fully enjoy the headset. Now for the battery, I was getting between 13 and 15 on the top end, and this charges via USB type C. Now that's very good, especially for the output being wireless. And then considering that price point, uh, other headsets in this is around the same kind of runtime, or a little bit lower. Now for the mic. Firstly, the mic is very sensitive, so you're definitely going to be able to be heard. Now the mic was not as clear as I was hoping for, but, but regardless, your friends aren't gonna have any problem understanding you. Now again, if you wanna check out any of the top five accessories in this video, there's Amazon links below, but take a listen to the mic test of the Xbox wireless headset. Take a listen. What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review, and this is how the mic sounds in the Xbox wireless headset. Check, check, check. One, two, three. Pop, pop, pop.